Let's take a look at another interesting math problem. This one is from the University of Waterloo's Center for Education in Mathematics and Computing. And it's a fairly easy math problem. Uh, Isla starts with $12 in her bank account and adds $12 at the end of every two weeks from collecting recycled items. Uh, Javier starts with $32 in his bank account and earns $4 at the end of every week for doing odd jobs for his neighbor and adds that to his savings. After how many weeks will they both have the same amount of money in their bank accounts? So we'll start off with $12 and $32 in these two variables and we'll have another variable that is the week number and we're going to run a loop here while the uh, amount of money that they each have is not equal then we'll keep the loop going and as soon as the two are equal then we'll stop. So every week uh, we add four dollars to his money and if the weeks are divisible by two with no remainder that's what this little modulus symbol means then uh, we're going to add twelve dollars to her amount of money and then we'll iterate through the week number so after running this uh, we find that <clears throat> after ten weeks they'll both have seventy two dollars so that's uh, a good start to it, but uh, let's do it with a little more data science and construct a data frame to display their account balances. So we'll start off with a list that has just uh, $12 in it for hers and $32 for his. That's the starting amount that they have from up there. And we're going to iterate through some weak numbers in the range from 1 to, I just picked 25, I figured that would be reasonable. And again, if it's an even numbered week, she gets more money. Otherwise, just append the same amount of money so that we have uh, how much money she has in each week. He gets $4 on every week. And we construct a data frame by zipping together those two lists. And we'll label the two columns with their names. And there's our data frame. So the money that they have in each week, and we see on week 10, there's where it's the same. And we also see right here it's the same, but uh, then she starts to pull away from him in terms of the amount of money she's getting. We can also graph that over time. There's this dfdataframe.plot uh, function, and we see the nice straight line of getting $4 every week or this sort of broken or a stepwise line of getting $12 every two weeks and we see they overlap right here and right here they seem to overlap in between those two points but there isn't actually a, a halfway point through there she's not getting the money a little bit at a time but uh, I suppose it could be considered that there's sort of a point as she's being handed loonies or something like that she might have the same amount of money as him at that point but at any rate that's our answer to the question after how many weeks will they both have the same amount of money we can see that it's after 10 weeks and after 13 weeks and there we go